Hi everyone, it's uh, Nightfire22 here, just playing some live 5 minute blitz. Um, okay, so what we have here is we have a Queen's Indian defense against a D4 and C4 sort of, uh, sorry, Queen's Pawn opening. And I have practically never played the Queen's Pawn opening before, but the whole idea of this new blitz series is that I play a different opening each time, and wow, just to start the blitz series, was my favourite opening, the King's Gambit. Uh, so now what we have is we have sort of uh, an attack on this knight, which I don't mind very much. Um, this bishop's already supported though, so we can't play Queen B6. Sorry, Queen B3. Um, what's wrong with playing A3 and having doubled up pawns? It doesn't matter. Uh, we do have this isolated A pawn, but that's not going to be worth much. I think the bishop for the knight exchange is well worthwhile. Uh, so possibly Fianchetto, this one here, um, this, you know, this open b-file, or this semi-open b-file, I should say, is very strong, but he stopped me from playing b5, anyway, and the clever idea behind this move is we can now defend the c4 pawn with the bishop whilst playing e4, ready to attack the queen. Okay, so my rating's been going up a lot recently, but I'm going to put this match on YouTube whether I make a horrific mistake or not. Um, okay, well he... I, we can't develop our kingside bishop at the moment because of that queen there. But what about playing knight to a4? No, wait, 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 wait. No, we can't play bishop d3 because obviously, yeah. So, if he goes here, are there any good squares he can go to? Or is he just kind of bit miffed? Um, okay, so if he has to play something really passive like queen a7, yes, there we go. This is going to be awful. That's going to be awful. He's going to have to play his queen back to g8. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this pawn is now pinned uh, effectively. Um, oh, damn. We should have played... Wait. Okay, let's think about this. We do some really deep thinking. I'm tempted to play g4, unleashing a whole... New genre of threats. Okay, g4. Oop. Okay, g4. What's best play from him? If g4, queen b6. Queen b6. Okay, that queen is stuck on that diagonal. Um, okay, b4. Okay, these rooks are okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Expose the king side. Um, our pawn structure is going to be completely doomed. But as I am aggressive, this is what I like to do. Okay. That's interesting. Our G, our, the G file is the problem now. Um. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have played that. I'm gonna have to take that night. What a pity. Oh well. We mucked that one up, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, the the good thing about that is the tension on the uh, on the F5 pawn is still there. Uh. All right, let's play F4. We still have the F3 queen defending that, and remember this F pawn is pinned. Uh, so basically, pawn takes, pawn takes. Ah, oh, damn, pawn takes. Pawn takes, queen takes. Okay, I get you. And we'll probably have to move the king to h h1. h1 looks best. Okay, he didn't take with the queen. Did he not want a queen trade? Okay, okay. Um. Oh, okay. He's being shadowing. We're going to have to watch out for that bishop, actually. Okay, so let's just lock this thing down before anything worse happens. Um, we want to try and get the queens off the board here, but we are really down on time. And I shouldn't have played that move, but oh well. Opening up fast towards the king. This pawn is going to be under some pressure here. Um, but everything's okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, this knight, where's it going? He's probably going to go there, yes. Um, oh, damn. Okay, how do we get rid of that bishop there? Oh, we could, we can't take the king away, we can't take the... Okay, we gotta move, we gotta move. 
Queenland D7, okay, 159, 159 now, we're probably going to lose on time or nothing. I usually want to be ahead on time, but I just think because it's been, you know, quite a hard game, uh, I, I haven't really been doing very well. Um, okay, this bishop on C1 hasn't moved since the start of the game. Where are we going now? Okay, C3, then knight C3, knight D6, okay, I'm going to stop focusing on doing the commentary, and I'm just going to... Okay, pawn, knight. Okay, that works. Please take with your knight or something. Because it will help me. It will help me greatly. But, because that bishop is strong. This bishop is so strong. Um, even, uh, Magnus Carlsen wouldn't be able to. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I want to play queen b3, but this knight, they say a knight on the rim is grim. Really? Okay, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to speedy, speedy now. Okay, how, what's he gonna do? He's gonna play the queen to the h file? Yeah, of course. He's coming for the kill now, guys. Which code do we need to defend? Let's play this queen back here, just to defend everything. Let's try and hold on and do a draw. Okay, we, we, he's got pretty much double the time now. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Um, we can play our king back to e1, if he plays, uh, queen g2, which is probably the... Okay, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. We just need to hold on. We need to hold on. Otherwise, we are not going to win this game. Um, so what opening was it? Oh yeah, it was a queen's queen's gambit. No, the last one was a king's gambit. Um, okay, let's play queen to f2 now. We need to. We need. Oh no, no, we can take the bishop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I regret. I regret. I regret. I so regret. Okay, what's he gonna do now? Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, here, 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 here. Uh, oh, no, 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 ah, damn. Um, okay, now, 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 now. Please, 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 please. He's gonna trade the queens now. He's up too much material. You are up too much material. You are, I'm sorry, but you are. Um, why not croak the bloody queen? Okay, if you're sure. Better be Hufflepuff. There we go. Um, oh, damn you. Uh, okay, let's go. Come on, you are up, you, if you take the queen, you'll be up like, uh, 10 points of material. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have sort of lost, um, but if, if we can hang on and play a really good end game, because often what happens in this position is people get quite cocky. If we move this rook to this e-file, it's not going to be too bad. Um, uh, his rooks are kind of trapped in, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we've got to make sure this pawn, you know, this pawn is going to be strong. No, oh, no, 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 he's got the rook on the h-file, damn you! Alright, I'm sorry. Then we get a whole rook trade, and his rook's out of there, his rook is out of there. Alright, okay, I'm gonna fight till the word checkmate comes. Um, which hopefully should not happen, okay. Okay, he's gonna take the pawn on e6, we're gonna take the pawn on a2, he's gonna take my rook on a2, I'm gonna take his rook on a2. And then he's in a winning position. Which is a shame, really. Alright. If you're sure. Actually, that's quite a clever move, because the two rooks come work together, so he doesn't lose any material. That was clever. I wouldn't have seen that myself. Um, yeah, this rook is completely gone. It's no, no matter if I move it to... Okay, let's let's just run out into the open now. Um, okay, let's go. Fight all the checkmate, guys. Oh, no, no, it's gonna be checkmate. Damn, damn. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, C, uh, uh, uh um, here. We've gotta move as fast as a leopard. There we go. He just gets another piece involved in the action. Okay, the one, the one good thing about this is his rooks aren't connected, so it's gonna be quite hard for him. Oh, but I see a checkmate line. Yeah, rook A2. Yeah, there we go. Um... But actually, we live if we play king to d1. We live for a bit. We live for just a little bit. Oh no, that's checkmate. Alright, good game guys. Alright, so thanks very much for watching everyone. Um, I'm going to post this one onto YouTube, I said I would. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you guys learned a lot from the game, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye guys.